we start part two by digging into the mechanical parts. The first thing with any trailer you want to look at is the wheel bearings. It's simple, it's easy, it's inexpensive, it's cheap insurance. As you can see, one of the bearings was bad in this trailer. Got the new bearings put in today. Not a sound. Perfect. This is my trusty canine Rika. Boy, she loves to be with me no matter what it is that I'm working on. So I found a great deal on a rooftop tent, the rooftop tent that I've been wanting, and now I need to go to Kentucky to get it. So at this point, I quit working on stripping and painting the trailer, and I quick ordered the brackets from Scott up at Compact Camping Concepts in Oregon, went to the local steel yard, got the crossbars, and got the trailer ready to go pick up the tent. So I get the rack all bolted up, and then get the trailer temporary lights wired back on, ready for a road trip trailer certainly isn't pretty at this point, but it's functional. Of course, once we got the tent picked up, we had to stop off at Buffalo Trace and pick up some bourbon. Here we are back at the shop and of course I couldn't wait to open up the tent again just to uh, check it out. CVT is a fantastic tent. At this point back to fabricating and building out the trailer the way that I want it. So I picked up a couple of 20 liter jerry cans. I had this swing out tire carrier from a CJ and needed to modify it so that the cans would fit. After stripping the many layers of paint off of the tub, I had to put a self-etching primer on. I used a Rust-Oleum roll-on self-etching primer. All this for preparation for the final application of the roll-on bed liner that I'm going to use. Now inside the tub, I used just a black roll-on bed liner, something you could pick up at your local auto parts store. Here is the Harbor Freight tongue box that I wanted to put on and used to hold all the electronics. Other things needed to happen here. Needed to extend the tongue so that the tailgate would open on the Jeep with that tongue box installed. So what I did was ordered the parts from eTrailer. I got the lock and roll hitch system as well as a folding uh, component so that my long tongue can be folded back uh, while it's in storage. I can actually gain a couple feet of real estate while it's in storage. This lock and roll hitch system is one of the most secure systems on the market and it allows the trailer to articulate 360 degrees, hopefully never needs that. This is a close up of the Fulton fold away that I was talking about. You pull the pin and the tongue will fold back upon itself and again saving you a bunch of room while the trailer's in storage. Welded in plenty of extra three inch square tubing to allow the tailgate to open 
with the tongue box installed. Here you can see what the Fulton fold away looks like when it's actually open. Now it's time to apply the Monster Liner to the outside of the tub. Nice thing about Monster Liner, it's available in so many different colors. I chose white for my application. I'll be using black and also the lime green. So here's a walk around of what this Monster Liner looks like. It's a super easy application. It's designed to be rolled on. Now it can be sprayed from what I understand, but I chose it because it could be rolled on. And if you take your time and follow the instructions, you get a fantastic texture. It takes a couple of coats, right? But you get a fantastic texture. And I didn't have any problems with rollers disintegrating like some people had talked about um, or anything like that. It's a fantastic product, and I look forward to doing the rest of the trailer with it. Be sure to tune in to part three where I'm going to go over how I built the lid for it and then also wired the electrical system in the tongue box. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you the next time.